Hello and welcome to the walkthrough of Resident Evil 2 Remake Ghost Survivors The Mayor's Daughter Runaway. The video will show strategies for each screen or room and hopefully it will help you beat the game easier. Unfortunately for this one, aiming is pretty important so you really have to be precise. When you start the game, run over Iron's body and over to the table you'll find a note teaching you about a new enemy called Pale Heads. Basically here's what you need to know. In order to stop them, you're gonna use enhanced ammo. If you shoot them in the head, they can die, not always. And if you shoot them in the body, they will freeze so that you can run past them. Now back to the game. The first zombie around the corner is pretty simple. Just give him a couple of headshots until he goes down. You can get a critical head explosion shot. Once he's down, you're gonna press R1. That's gonna switch your handgun ammo to enhanced ammo. And then when this white dude walks through the door, wait one second for him to go back and then shoot. Once you shoot him with that enhanced ammo, he actually freezes. You're not gonna use any other ammo on those guys. Switch back to the regular ammo and at the top of the stairs, take out the zombie with two to three shots. And inside his backpack, you'll find a key. You'll have to find a few keys in this mode. In the vending machine, you're gonna wanna take the enhanced bullets. You're gonna do this in every single vending machine. Switch back to the enhanced bullets and shoot the guy once at the bottom so that he freezes or dies and then use the key to open the door. Now if you really want to be careful you can stand inside the doorway and kind of scam the game and take out the enemies out here but we're gonna have the enhanced bullets remember to keep those out run up to the guy with the backpack as soon as he starts to get up shoot him he'll die in one hit pick up the flamethrower and the key and then run directly to the gate keep in mind this method is not 100 percent and about two out of every 10 times you will get bit by a dog so you may want to try that scammy method i mentioned in the beginning make sure you mash the x button when you get to that gate because you want to make sure the dogs don't have that split second to get you and when you're through the gate, run over to the bus and just start flaming away at the guys coming out. Maybe circle from left to right. And do not get trapped in the corner here like I did. Uh, the mayor's daughter has an infinite knife, so you can use it to defend yourself like I did here. You just have to remember you're gonna have to get it back. And in this segment, you can use up all of the flame rounds. You just need to make sure you kill the one with the knife and the backpack. Now, once all the flame is gone, go to the vending machine, get your enhanced bullets like we do every time, and now it'll clear out a little bit, and find the backpack where there will be some flamer fuel, and we'll use that later. Now get on the bus with your enhanced handgun out, and you're going to take out these two guys. Try to do it with one bullet, like this. They're right behind each other. The bullet will go through and take them both out. You may have to use two bullets, but really, really try to do it with one bullet. Once you get out of there, you're gonna run to the basketball court and when you get to the gate, stop and walk. You're gonna go over to the zombie and knife him as quickly as possible because sometimes he jumps to the left towards the liquor and the liquor comes towards you and you'll be in big trouble. Once he's done, take his backpack and the item inside, which is the key, and look over on the bench where you can find one of the first Mr. Raccoons. Now walk, 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 walk over to the gate and use the key to get outside. Once you get through this gate, you can run again and the liquors will not chase you or anything. So make sure you're out before you start running. Now we're gonna run around the corner and we're gonna run past all of the enemies. But the last enemy, the pale head, at the end, we're gonna have to shoot him. So make sure your enhanced gun is out. Shoot him to freeze him and then run past him. And in the vending machine, you guessed it, we're gonna get some more enhanced ammo. Now at the top of these stairs, there's gonna be two pale heads that come across. You really gotta shoot them in the head so that they die and not freeze. And so you kinda aim at that pipe over there in the back. And the first guy will kinda run into your aim. The second one, however, will kinda go to the right sometimes, but you really need to get the headshots and you know you got it when they fall down. This part, you're gonna walk forward and aim your gun and as soon as you get a little bit forward like there, the dog will activate. There's gonna be four dogs. The first one we're gonna kill with our regular handgun. As soon as he's down, switch to enhanced and get ready. The next three we're gonna kill with enhanced bullets and we're gonna try to take two dogs out with one shot like that. You need three enhanced bullets from this point on. 
So if you're running low or something, you can try to use regular handgun and do it the way we killed that first dog. But these dogs are so fast and when you reload, you really get crushed. So that's why we reload on the second dog instead of on the third and fourth dog because they will catch up to you while you're switching ammo. Now, after you have killed the dogs and hopefully gotten that double shot there, that's very, very important. We're gonna run around the corner. In this video, I think I have five bullets here and you really need three because there's three key enemies here. Note here, do not do what I did. I was testing something out, it's very dumb. Basically just run down the steps and when the zombie guy busts through the wall, just shoot him once and run around him, very simple. I tried to be cute and hit him in the head from far away, he didn't freeze long enough, and then I ended up losing that knife. If you want that knife back, you have to shoot those white dudes in the head, and it's really a waste of the bullets, so you do not really want to use the knife on those guys, unless you're desperate. And now what we're doing out here in the city area is we're looking for a zombie with a backpack, and it's one of those pale head ones. And inside that is kind of the key to survival and making this game end a lot quicker and a lot easier. So we found him there and that shot right there hit him in the head but it didn't kill him because he didn't fall and the bag didn't drop and then I missed. But luckily with the third bullet I took him out and now we have zero of those enhanced bullet left and I told you we need one. So we're going to have to be creative here. And we're going to have to also be creative with how we get ourselves to that backpack without getting hit. It's kind of easy to dodge these guys out here, but you've got to make sure you stay away from the pale heads because they're twice as fast and hard to avoid. Uh, there is a Mr. Raccoon, number two. He's in that ambulance on the right. I didn't have time here because I was in a panic to go over and show you. Now at the parking garage, to get inside, we're just going to do one of our good old-fashioned juke-out moves and pull out the handgun with the regular ammo. I thought you needed the enhanced ammo here, but this zombie actually with the backpack down here has low HP, and he died with one bullet, so I believe he'll die if you just shoot him once. And save your enhanced bullet if you have it for that second white guy in the back. Uh, I'm gonna have to just dodge him, and he's kinda stumbling around, so it made it kinda easy to dodge. That's a little bit of a harder dodge than you wanna deal with, so if you have that enhanced thing, that will really help. At this point, you have two keys, which is important because the first key will open this door to get you inside. And now you can go to this vending machine over here, grab a green herb out of there, mix it with the red one that you got in the beginning of the game, and now you've got yourself a full health. And that's going to be very helpful if you get hit here because you will get hoarded by zombies. So come in here, run forward. Once you hear the jail cells open, quick turn and run back out here around this side. You have to have both keys to do it. The Mr. Raccoon number three, the final one is in there. And we've got this pale head here and no enhanced bullets, but that's okay. If we flame him with all of our flamethrower that we have left over, we'll be able to take him down. And now we can get some more enhanced bullets. And basically what we're gonna do is use the key to go through that door, but we wanna clear that area before we go through it so that we don't get hit there. Most of the zombies are actually chasing us in a U-turn around, so they're, they know they can't get through that locked door, so they're coming from the back over there. So basically, I, I tried some flames. I, I've tried some uh, enhanced bullets to, to get these guys. And the fire hitting you does not cause any damage, but it's kind of annoying. And as you can see, I've got terrible aim, but I finally took that out and Here's where the important thing is to have your enhanced ammo out. When you use the key here and you start running, there's going to be at least one, probably two enemies that pop out at the end. You know that guy freezes? Uh-oh, it's a lady. Oh, we got by her. If you had the knife there, you could save it on that lady and, and be saved. But very complicated, very complex, a lot harder to do than the other ones, no damage. But hopefully that will help you understand how to beat this game for the mayor's daughter. And remember, there were three Mr. Raccoons in this segment, and if you get all of the keys, you actually unlock uh, the egghead mask. So getting the keys not only helps you beat it quicker, but it gets you a benefit. And if you can't get that key from that backpack zombie, you're gonna have to run straight through all those guys, and you can make it with health and a knife, but it's gonna be tough 
and you're going to have to really, really get lucky there at the end. You want to play it safe and get that key from the zombie with the backpack. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you, please leave a comment and let me know of any strategies that you use to beat it. And please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that like button.